Hey guys, good evening. This is going to be a little bit of a different uh, video that I'm going to do here. And I figure what the heck I'll stream it just in case I screw up. It'll be uh, captured on the stream uh, for posterity here. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use the world editor and we're going to add some grass to the airport. And I'm going to actually share my screen and we're going to go step by step. Uh, through everything that I do to uh, add grass to this airport right here. And this is a Corona airport, small airport in uh, Corona, California. And uh, it looks real nice. It's got a lot of uh, scenery already. Um, but we're going to add grass to these little grassy areas right here. So let me go ahead and uh, turn the music down just a little bit there. Uh, let's just take a quick view here of the actual airport. So as you can see, um, zoom in here, take a little flyby, and I think we're sitting over at the fuel spot with our uh, Just Flight uh, Piper Warrior. But let's get down on the ground over here. We'll take a look and see what it looks like now. There we are. And you can see the airport looks nice. This is all default. Everything uh, is default, but the grassy areas just look blah, right? And so I've been playing the last couple days with uh, World Editor to uh, put in grass, and that's what I'm going to try to do here. So uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to share out my screen. Let me bring up a couple things here. We'll bring up World Editor, that one there, and. Let's see if this works. There we go. Okay, so I'm sharing out a um, portion of my screen, and what you're looking at is uh, Google Maps here, and we're looking at the actual airport. So we can kind of scroll around. We can zoom in here. Uh, here's the fuel island. Let's, let's turn this around so we're actually looking at it the right way. There we go. So uh, here's a little fuel island where we were parked, and uh, it's got Corona, blah, 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 and you can see all this grassy area down here. And you can zoom in. There's a little bit of dry grass, there's a little bit of uh, green grass in different spots, and if you take a look, well you can't see it on the screen, but this is actually the imagery was taken in 2019, so this is pretty current. Um, and as you can see, lots of grass all around here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring up uh, World Editor, so let me bring that up. Now I'm not going to go into how to install it and everything, you can do that, it's pretty straightforward. You install it and then... Uh, once you run it, you tell it where your uh, uh, scenery directory is, where your X-Plane directory is, and it finds all of your scenery. And so right here is a list of all of the stuff that's inside of my um, custom scenery folder. It's got all the libraries, all the airports, all the ortho and everything. And since we don't have uh, a custom scenery for Corona, we're going we're gonna to have to go find it. So the first thing we got to do is figure out what the actual identifier is. So I'm just going to jump on my other screen, grab the identifier there. I think it's COR, but uh, I'm going to double check. Uh, let's see, where am I? Should have been ready with that before. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Corona. Chino and Corona is... No, that's Riverside. Here we go. Corona. Uh, it's A-J-O. K. AJO. All right, so the first thing you do is you're going to click uh, New Scenery here. Let me just clear some stuff up on my other screen. Okay, so uh, the first thing that you do is click uh, New Scenery Package. All right, and you can see right here it says Untitled, it just creates that. You can go in and, um, you know, change the name. Uh, or this naming convention that uh, I guess this standard is to use the ICAO. K A J O dash, and, and then just put in the name. So Coro Corona Corona Co <laughs> should be able to spell it, huh? Make sure I get it right. I want to make sure I get it right. That's why I'm kind of being stupid here. Where'd it go? I clicked out of it, and it went right here. Uh, K A J O. All right, so I guess it didn't do it. Let's do it. Let's do it again. There we go. Yep, number two. All right. 
Um, so we're going to call it K-H-A-O dash Corona. All right, click out of it. There it is. Um, I probably got that untitled one someplace. So let me delete that really quick. Uh, untitled, there it is. All right, so we're going to get rid of that. Just highlight it, hit delete, edit. There's probably a delete here someplace. Uh, you know what, I'm not going to bother with it. Let's just go over here. Let's go back to our Corona uh, one. So once you've got that entered in there, you're going to do uh, open scenery package. All right, and then once you do that, the main window for uh, world editor will pop up and it popped up on my other screen so let me bring it up here make sure you can all see it here and make it a little bit bigger all right because you're not going to need that other screen you know, i want to make sure you can see everything there okay and so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the actual uh scenery so you're going to do an import from airport scenery gateway here right and of course it pops up my other screen let me bring that here and you can see it's going to go ahead and connect up to the gateway and it's going to download uh, all of the different listed airports and then we're going to look for k-h-a-o all right there we go so we come over here k-h-a-o there's corona municipal we're going to highlight it hit next and it's going to give us all of the different versions that are out there and then you always want to select the recommended one okay um, so this is like uh, the first one down here was an automated one that got created uh, somebody called mini webs uh, did another version and then did another version and higgins here did the uh the latest version and so you can see some of the notes here but uh, that's the one you want to work off of is the the one that's recommended status and you're going to import the package and once that gets imported we're going to have the entire airport here let me take a look at my um my chat there and alberto hi good afternoon <laughs> like like the beer is there a beer somewhere oh, i missed it did I have a beer? Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, here's the here's the actual airport. So everything gets downloaded, and you can see there's already some tree areas that have been added in, and you can zoom in. Let's go over here, and right right uh, right button on your mouse will drag around. You can see there's our runway, and I'm gonna just hit my selection tool, and I'm just gonna select a runway here so we can get rid of some of that stuff. Uh, some of the selections because basically everything was uh, selected so these grassy areas right here this is what we're going to add um, right in here so in my library i went ahead and i downloaded a um, fly aggie vegetation uh, library which i think has at least the best grass that i've seen so far so i'm going to expand that and you can see there's flowers forests fruit shrubs trees grass we're gonna go to grass and there is a ton of grass here let me make that a little bit bigger and i think here just from looking at uh at the actual satellite picture it's kind of uh you know there's some tan there's some green i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go with uh, something in between there and if you take a if you click on the grass here down here it will show you what it kind of looks like um, and it's got at least in this library there's high low medium you can see there's dark here's the dry one um, and i'm going to go with low dry i think i'm going to add two of them or at least we'll try that so uh, let's do dry very low you can kind of see how three-dimensional it looks all right and once you have that selected you can see that this defaults right here to what you're going to be adding. You're actually adding a forest. That's what the FOR is here. All right. So you come back here. Be careful where you click. All right. And we're going to come back. We're going to put dry grass in uh, all of these center sections. And then we're going to go back and we're going to put some green grass too. So we're going to have a little mix. Now I'm going to zoom in. Uh, make my first spot right there. Come over here. And you're basically just going to outline this whole area. So I'm going to come around here. Let's 
let's keep going. And I think we're going to do all of the grassy areas and then we'll uh, have to reload our scenery, which is uh, takes a few minutes to do. All right, so that's it. Once you've got that, you just hit enter, bam, and there's our there's our grassy area. Now it's just highlighted there. All right, and let's go over to the next one. And we're just going to keep doing the same thing here. We've still got the dry grass very low selected. So we're going to come over here. Oops, should probably do another point there. Let's do delete. My delete key, there we go. And since this is on a curve right here, I'm just making a couple extra points there. You can always come back and actually grab, I think, your points and move them around after the fact. But uh, if you make a mistake, just hit delete and that, uh, that removes your last point. Right. Come over here and make sure it's not going anywhere. Hit enter. There's our next grassy area. Come over here and do this one. This is a lot of fun here. Let me keep my chat up so I can see what's going on. Uh, you said, oh, Corona. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Got corona. So Alberto is uh, referring to in chat um, Corona beer. Gotcha. I'm a little slow today. It's been a long weekend. And I don't have any Corona in the fridge, actually. So there we go. And enter. back over here and keep on going it's a somewhat of a tedious task here but we'll, we'll we'll get it going here I picked this airport specifically because um, it's kind of small and uh, I thought it'd be a, a quick way to do it without taking up too much time all right well, there's that grassy area so you can see we've got, uh, what, four of them done here, right along the airport, or right, up, right, about, right, about, right around the runway here. Keep on going here. And I have a scroll mouse, and that's how I'm scrolling in and out. Keep on going. Scroll all the way over here, and put in a couple extra points. Just in case we screw something up. Alright, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go a little bit closer here. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's do these little ones right here. And you can always check back. Let's go look at this area. Um, so you can see we're right at the end of the runway and these little four little grassy areas. Let's take a look at the real world and see how that looks. Oh, there we go. All right, so here they are, these four little grassy areas. So they are there and they're pretty dry looking. And the dog thinks so too. So let's zoom in here. We'll put the, we'll put the grass areas, make sure we still got it selected here. Just kind of come around like this. Keep clicking. Hit enter. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, as long as you get it, at, you know, close enough is uh, pretty good because it is grass, you know, so it kind of fills in anyway. Hit enter. Get in a little bit closer there. All right, that one looks good. I think this is the last one of these small little areas. 
and I think I'm going to leave this um, just dry because that's the way it looks in real life, at least on the uh, on the satellite view. Let's take a look at this one here too. Come back here. Um, all right, so yeah, these that's dry. That's pretty dry. We'll put dry grass in all three of these and these two over here. So let's just keep going. And you see there's like a little patch going through there. What is that? Um, all right, so there is. There's a little road that kind of goes through there. So we'll separate those two. It's like uh, it's not a taxiway, whatever, a little roadway or something that goes through there. So we'll make sure that we uh, separate those. Whoop. Computer's bouncing around. So uh, still selected. We'll come over here. And you can put multiple grasses in the same spot, and that's kind of what we're going to do. Let's see if that lines up. Yep, that looks good. Uh, if you watch my other video I did today, um, it was the flight from Oceanside to, Cor not Corona, but uh, Chino, which is just north of here, north of uh, Corona. I did a bunch of grass. I didn't do it on stream or anything. I just did it beforehand. And uh, I had one section that I started playing around with, and I actually had like a crap load of grass in one area. Right, let's zoom out here a little bit, make sure we don't miss anything. So I know this can get a little tedious here. And like I said, it's, I was hoping to do a small airport that's not... Uh, super complicated. This one's actually got quite a bit of small spots like this though. Closer there. Alright, and this one over here. I think I'm going to leave these uh, just dry for now. Uh, a couple of the ones over there by the uh, the actual runway up above there, I'm going to put in a second uh, green one just to kind of mix it up. All right, that looks good. here and do this one. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see what else we got here. I think that's it. All right. So the only other one I want to do we won't do the whole thing because it is kind of tedious doing that. We're going to fill in all this stuff around here. So this one's going to be, we're actually going to go from here. And this is kind of a grassy area, it's sort of storage or something like that over here. Um, if we take a look, I don't want to take a look at it right now. I'm just going to go like this, out this way. Uh, we'll come across here. All right, then we're going to come all the way up here. We're going to fill in all of this stuff. And we're going to go all the way uh, sort of around the perimeter here. Let's zoom out a little bit. We can do this a little bit quicker. It's good. And if you overlap some of the stuff out here, it's okay. All right. Let's see, we just want to kind of stay in the perimeter of the, the airport here, so we're just going to go like this. We don't want to go too far out. But I want grass all around it, especially on the approach end over here. Alright, and... Not a ton of it. You don't, have to, you don't have to be perfect here. Just keep an eye out on where you are going here. Going around the runway. All right, and then, yep. 
come down this side. I know this, this can get complicated, so you got to kind of pay attention here. All right, and down this way. Let's zoom in here. A few more points. See, we're coming up to where we started from here. It's pretty good. Uh, that's it. All right, I'm gonna hit enter. Boom. All right, and then you can see that's the entire area that we did right there, all the way around the runway. All right, and so let's now let's do a, a little bit more green grass through this area, and I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do a different kind of grass. Let me see here. Dry. I'm looking at fresh here. You can see that one, that one. I like fresh six looks nice. And seven, low. Uh, I think I'm going to go with very low. No, we'll do low. All right, we'll see how that looks. You can always change it. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Where, where's our parking spot here? Oh, there's our fuel truck. So I'm just going to do this area right here. And we don't even have to do the entire area. You can just kind of do something like this. Uh, hit enter. Uh, and then do another one over here like that enter you can see where this will kind of also help with the way that the the grass sort of blends together you can see I'm putting tons of different colored grasses in there let's come over here and do some more different shapes this will all blend in I think the more points you put the more realistic it looks, especially when you're overlapping like this. I think that's enough for right now. Let's see. Well, we want green. So this is, uh, yeah, we're doing this green one. I think we want a little bit more green out in this area. Let's take a look at our real world here. It's kind of dry out there. This is what we were just doing. Uh, yeah, a little greener towards the end here, whatever. I mean, there's green. There's different colors and stuff like that. Let's let's do a little bit more green out in this area. Do a whole bunch of weird shapes here. Right by the windsock. My mouse is flying off of my mouse pad here. And that looks good. I try to overlap a few more. See how that looks. And we'll even do some inside of here. You can see this when you're not having to follow the pattern, you know, of the outline there. Goes a little bit quicker. All right. Uh, yeah, let's put a few more over here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pick another grass while we're at it. This is going so quick. Uh, I'm going to pick a different one. I'm going to pick a medium. Um, what was that? Number seven. Let's try number six. Uh, we're doing seven. There's a dark one. Here's some dry stuff. Really dry stuff. It says fresh, but it looks <laughs> looks kind of uh, tan anyway. I'm going to try a different color. Seven. And um, sc scoot over here, and I think at the top somewhere here, we will see the actual grasses. So let's just move that, remove that, remove that, move that. Here we go. Here's our grasses. It's actually under runway, so we got to move that. Um, but yeah, this is all dry two and fresh seven is what we're using. So fresh seven high. I want to do a little bit different color. Fresh six. Did we use six? No, just dry two and fresh seven five. All right, we'll do six. Uh, medium. All right, so medium selected. Let's put in some medium grass here. Let's see what this looks like. I 
Okay, hit enter. There we go. This one's going to have a whole bunch of grass in there. Um, all right, just a couple more over here. And we will start our update. All right, we're going to leave it just like that. All right, so the next thing to do is uh, you have to save it. So all of this stuff is saved. I'm over to file. Actually, before I do that, let me make sure you can actually see it. Yes, okay. So file, save, and then very important, um, that, that saves your uh, your work that you've done here. It does not put it into uh, explain yet, okay? So you gotta come back here and you have to export scenery pack, right? So I'm gonna export the scenery pack here and I get another pop-up that says, warning, the airport name should use the abbreviation International Regional Muso instead of full words. Okay, wave warning and proceed. First time I got that one. I think it's because it's uh, the default name of it. Okay, so now that it's been saved, um, we have to do a couple things. We have to since it's a brand new airport, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, minimize that, and minimize that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to take off my full screen here. So we're just looking at the sim again. Okay. Um, let's see. We might have to restart the sim here to, take, uh, to have the grass take effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually close down the sim. And then we're going to fire back up. This, trust me, this is going to be worth it. Okay, so I'm actually exiting the sim now. And since I have real world weather, oh good, it's not it's not running, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And let me uh let me let me bring up something for you to look at, at least while the, the sim is firing back up. Here you go. There's uh there's the co-pilot at the beach. And I'm gonna bring up one more file here. Alright. So uh, I'm going to go into my X-Plane Scenery folder here. I'm going into Custom Scenery, okay? And there's, there's the folder that got created, right? Uh, K-H-A-O. We're actually going to delete that one. That's the untitled one. Um, and so this has to be inside of your uh, Scenery Pack Any. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. All right, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to edit my uh, file here and I'm just going to paste it in here so that's the name of the airport and I'm going to grab from the line right below it here the actual directory paste that in front of it uh, we need a slash there all right and that should be good so you can see Oceanside Chino I did those other two I'm just going to leave them at the top right here all right and I'm going to save that so that way we can save a little bit of time all right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm going to fire up X-Plane again here. I've still got the, the world editor running. And you'll actually get a good idea of how long it takes for my uh, X-Plane to fire up here. All right, so I think it's... Uh, kind of funny because I'm capturing the screen here, but uh, X-Plane hasn't registered yet inside of uh, OBS here. So I'm going to take a swig of water here while we wait for X-Plane to load. This may take like three or four or five minutes, hopefully not that long. And while it's loading, let's uh, let's take a look at take a look at the airport here again. So yeah, there it is. There's a uh, zoom out here so you get a view of where it is. The airport's right here. Uh, here's LA, LAX right down here, and Chino is the other airport right here that I did. So kind of really wanted to do this one just for the heck of it. And again, I'm going to go back uh, afterwards and add the grass that's sort of on the south side and around the other sides and wherever else it needs to be. 
while we wait for uh, X-Plane to load here. It's, it's getting there. Let's see, yeah, see this is this little area at the end where I just kind of chopped it around here. Looks like there's some derelict planes here maybe getting stored. One of the other things I want to try to do is uh, get higher resolution uh, photo reel. I've been trying to figure out how to edit the actual photo reel by like coming into Google Earth. This is um, Google Maps. Google Earth, you can get really high definition sections, cut them out, and I'm trying to figure out how to paste those into like the DDS uh, overlays. How's uh, X Plane doing here? Still, still cranking along. I don't know about you, but when I'm uh, recording or doing anything else, X-Plane takes forever to freaking load. Drives me bananas. Here, let's play a few tunes while we wait. Come over here to my uh, music library. I have something in the background there, at least. And, you know, I didn't add any trees. There's an actual tree here I was going to add. I think there's a palm tree someplace, but uh, I'll do that next time. Here we go. There's a small one here. I think, yeah, there's an actual palm tree right here. Let's tell by the shadows. Um, so there's actually, looks like, yeah, one palm tree here, along with these, uh, these other trees. I can't remember if they were on the... Uh, On the uh, default scenery here, let me get rid of that. We'll go uh, new flight. We'll take our uh, warrior here, and we're going to go to K H A. Is it C? Oh, I did it. Oh, Corona. There we go. Corona. Let's see what kind of starts we got here. We're going to go right here. Prop tie down. Prop tie down. I think it was over here. We'll start right there. All right. We'll let that load. back and bring our come on I'm trying to bring up my uh, my browser here again it should pop up here in a second all right there we go and my browser back for you keep looking around here so far from what I saw there at the airport it looked like uh, all the hangers that thing were in there. My goodness, puppy. Dog wants to bark at everything. Probably somebody walking by outside. Alright, you can see down below my, uh, where is it? It's off, it's off the screen, but, uh, at least I can't point to it with my cursor, but uh, you can see down there just below an original geek there, still loading in the background. Let's see what do we want to look at. Come over here and look at uh, Universal Studios. That would be an interesting uh, thing. I wonder if we could add some. I wonder if somebody's done like a Universal Studios. I mean, there's a. I have like the Southern California uh, add on scenery pack, whatever you want to call it, that, that adds like the Hollywood sign, um, adds all the piers and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it'd be cool if somebody did Universal Studios there. And let me see Hollywood sign. Where are we? Right here at Griffith Park. Griffith Observatory. That's the one thing that the scenery doesn't have is Griffith Observatory. Come on, zoom in here. So if you're ever in LA, uh, 
don't forget to visit Griffith Observatory here. It's worth it. Uh, it's sometimes very limited parking. A lot of times you got to park someplace down here on the street and walk your way up. But uh, definitely good views from here of uh, downtown LA. Let's go 3D here. There you go. And you also get a good view of zoom out here. Goodbye. Get a good view of uh, the Hollywood sign, which is right there. And the Hollywood sign is included on that uh, Southern California scenery pack. I think I did one video where I was flying around just looking at stuff. So yeah, from Griffith Observatory here, you can see the Hollywood sign. It, um, I know it looks like it's small, but um, you get good shots of it from the hill there, along with uh, looking down at uh, downtown LA and uh, everything else over here. Let's take a look at our airport here in 3D mode. Let's see, where are we? So this is a good tool to use when you're trying to figure out what things are supposed to look like. And uh, like you can even click on it here, let me do that. Go into street view. So there's that palm tree I was talking about. Let me come up into it here. So there's that palm tree. We're gonna add that later on. Add some cars here to this little restaurant here. What is this? Corona Airport Cafe. Cool. So let's see if we can see the actual airport. So we can drive into here. Ooh, can. Cool. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen a Google Street View where they actually are on the taxiway practically, which they are. Look at that. Alright, so that's what it looks like mode. Nice. Here's our little spots that we did. Like literally, did the Google van go driving on the freaking taxiway? All right, so that's what it looks like in real life. It's, we're gonna have a little bit taller grass, I can tell you right now. <laughs> but you can see these little dry areas. There's a little mix of uh, dry grass, green grass. a fuel spot here. All right, I think we're going to start off someplace right around here. We're getting there. See that blue line down at the bottom? One day I, uh, I hope uh, Laminar figures out how to uh, get X-Plane to load faster. And the cool thing with the World Editor, you can get as detailed as you want. So all these little cracks and stuff on the runway, you can put those in. And there's some flowers. Oh, yeah, we gotta put flowers in. We've got flowers in the scenery too. All right, looks like uh, X-Plane has fired up. So let me get rid of this and Let's see, all right, we're waiting for it to load here. It's still kind of chugging along here. You can see my frames are at like 1.5. It's loading everything in. There we go, it's starting to bump back up. And, all right, moment of truth. Let's pop up and see what our grass looks like here. Hope it worked. Oop. All right, not bad, not bad. Again, from, a, from top down here, it looks a little Looks a little weird. Let me zoom that out. All right, and you can see all of the different, uh, you know, the green ones that we added in there. It's getting there. See, so you got to kind of play around with it. Maybe play with the texture colors too down at the bottom. Here's all those multiple different ones we added in. squared off here but uh, like I said that's why it's good to do like a lot of points when you're actually doing it 
Um, and I still haven't figured out how to keep these lines from occurring. And it does it sort of, it has a repeating pattern, right? And so I think when you do big chunks like this, you end up with these uh, sort of lines. Uh, but you obviously only see them when uh, you're in one spot. It's pretty good. Let's go all the way to the end over here. All right, so now that we actually have the airport in here, let's go take a flight, I think. You can see we added all this stuff, and it, uh, what is this, what is this? Oh, is that a fence? Yeah, that's weird. So here's our fuel spot. It doesn't look exactly like that big round red thing we were looking at, but, Close enough. Now, where are we? I don't even know where we are. We're up here. Uh, okay, so we're just behind it. Yeah, we're just right next to it here. So let's go for a flight while we're here, huh? Let's jump in here. Ooh, if I still remember how to fly after uh, clicking all that stuff. All right, we'll get the fuel on, get our master on. Fuel pump landing light. Get rid of that. Uh, get our lights on here. Put that back in there. Mixture rich. And fire her up. And then let's turn some of this noise down. We'll come over here. Gyro pump off. And we'll turn the master down here just a bit. We don't need it too loud. All right, so let's taxi around a little bit here and see what it looks like from the actual plane. Let me see, can I get around this guy or do I gotta go this way? Not a very good spot. We'll, we'll go, we'll go, uh, we'll go this way. Go to the right. Try not to run into anything. And actually, you know what, I don't remember if we took a look at how stuff kind of looked before we had uh, the grass. We'll taxi up and down here a little bit. We'll do a quick taxi up this way. Just another level of, uh, another dimension, I guess. A little bit more realism there. Not bad for the uh, first try here. That fence thing's kind of weird. I wonder. I didn't recall seeing that weird fence thing on uh, on the real world there. But maybe it's there. Let me take a look. You can see all our little grass areas. They can keep playing around with it and adding flowers and adding different types of grass. And uh, like I said. You can change the uh, the actual ortho there to make that blend in a little bit more. Let's taxi down the runway and then uh, do a turn around there and take off. We do a fast taxi down this way. And you can see kind of where the line is. You can actually bring that in. So now you can go back and I can say, well, I kind of want the grass to be a little bit closer to the edge of the runway. And you can go in and grab those lines and uh, bring them in a little bit closer there. Uh, Alberto, this is the fly, or not sorry, it's the just flight. Um, Piper uh, Warrior. Do a little flyby here as we're taxiing. And uh, they are coming out with uh, a Piper Archer like any day now. I actually looked, I thought I was hoping it was out uh, today. Uh, with uh, it's a newer, you know, one of the newer models, um, so it's got uh, you know, a not the 1980s cockpit. 
grass looks pretty good. I'd like to lighten up the the uh, the ortho on here, and that would blend in a little nicer, I think. It's a little dark right there, and then toss in toss in a little bit more spotty type of red grass. And since I'm doing a live stream here, what we'll do, and this is going to be a really short flight, we'll hop out of here and we'll go over to Chino where I was screwing around with a bunch of grass and everything and I uh, got it looking pretty decent. Let's do a quick turn here. Right, let me get, make sure everything is set here. So mixture rich, we're going to go down here, down here, our trim tab set. Uh, no flaps. Get our transponder on altitude. All right, and just double check my fuel. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's get out of here and uh, do a quick hop. Like literally, left. It's like a five-minute flight from Corona, or sorry, yeah, from Corona to uh, to Chino. Yeah, let's power up. And you can see my frames here, even though I'm streaming. It's 34. Uh, 34 frames, even with all that grass and everything. Let's pop out here and you can see all the grass going by. Look back here. Alberto, uh, you don't sim, but you enjoy it. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, I enjoy uh, watching uh, some of the other guys that uh, fly on uh, YouTube. You know, Captain Canada, John Fly, all those guys. Uh, it's kind of fun to watch them. So let's, uh, let's take a look back there. This is what the airport looks like. Uh, obviously can't see all the grass from here, but uh, if we had put some trees down, You'd be able to see the trees there. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the engine volume here again. There we go. We don't need it that loud. Get rid of that. All right. Let's see if I can find my way to Corona. Basically, just follow at the 71 freeway right here. And. Or sorry, not Corona Chino. There it is, right there. <laughs> Told you it was a quick hop here. And I think the winds are out of the uh, out of the west. Either that, or they're very calm, so we don't have to really play around too much. So we'll come around here. We'll do it a landing on uh, one of the runways here. And then I'll show you uh, some of the grass t uh, stuff that I added into there. A little bit hazy here in the valley, or in the, the LA basin. power all the way back in and we're going to do a tactical <laughs> tactical approach here and this is just for fun here okay. first notch of flaps really going to cut it short so we're going to do it like a short approach here we're actually going to go into the runway just going off the screen right there there's parallel runways here so this is going to be a very short approach to that runway and uh, you'll start seeing the grass uh, throughout the area here that I started adding and you can actually start seeing it uh, just ahead right here I've actually did did all of the grass here all right let's go full flaps 
Like I said, we're not going into this runway, we're going into the parallel runway. So we got a little bit of we got a little bit of wiggle room here. See all that grass down below? That's all the stuff that I added in here to uh, Chino. Bring a little bit of power in here. And the grassy area right over here to the right, you can see all the flowers right there. Uh, that's that's the area I put in. There's like a ton of freaking grass um, layers in there. Okay, right, flaps up. Let's go ahead hard break here. We're just gonna taxi over. I'm gonna show you that uh, that grassy area. So you can see all of this stuff. This is all the grass that I've added in. Uh, definitely makes a difference. Much more realistic. Helps with the immersion. Right? We'll taxi back across here and take a look at that uh, flowery area. Which is uh, right here on the, on the right hand side. That's the first one that I did. Um, and I literally started layering like tons of grass. And you can see that the ortho here is uh you know greener in color and so you, with the green grass it tends to kind of blend in nicer i could still go in there and probably add in even more you know sort of low grass i think this is like the medium medium to high grass might be medium but you could add low grass all the way up to the edge here and make it look really nice you know same thing this side here just has one layer of grass um, like I said, this, this one here, I started putting in flowers and because I live in Southern California, it, it rained here like uh, a week ago. And so uh, if, uh, if you're familiar with uh, Southern California, like a week after it rains, flowers start blooming all over the place. Take a look at this here. Should we take off again? I don't know. We got four people viewing uh, on YouTube. Where do you want to go? I'll let you guys decide. We're in Southern California at uh, Chino Airport. You guys uh, let me know in the chat there where you want me to fly to. Someplace close, preferably. <laughs> Give you a few minutes here at, to decide. We've got, uh, see my little palm trees I added over there? Grass looking nice. Yeah, Alberto, those guys are pros. <laughs> yeah, I try to. I don't do a ton of streaming. I uh, I usually just record and then post videos. But uh, occasionally I do some streaming too. Um, but I my schedule doesn't really allow me to stream as much as I would like. All right, let's go. Flaps up. Let's take a look at our trim tab hill. We'll do one more quick hop. Uh, and I'm just going to randomly pick someplace because nobody's posted anything. All right, let's get out of the here. We will go. Actually, we're, we're going to put the sun down. So we're going to do a little bit of a sunset flight here because um, it's just past sunset here in Southern California. But I, I kept the... Uh, I kept the uh, time in the sim uh, up a little bit just so uh, you know you can see everything. So nice airport here, Chino. This is my first project where I started adding things in. I added in those palm trees down there, and again, looking at real world, I decided to uh, fix some of the stuff that was missing from uh, from the actual. Uh, default scenery here. All right, I'm just going to hop over. Let's go to Ontario. I haven't been to Ontario in a while, which is literally right next door here. This is another quick hop. I'm going to retrim here. 
Come on, come on. Trim, trim, trim. And keep the full power up. And hopefully... Oh yeah, I was gonna do sunset, so let's uh, let's change the time here a little bit. Let's bring that sun down. There we go. Bring some lights up. Uh, let's see, I don't know what time it is, but it's actually probably... I'm looking out my window, so that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> Something like that. Let's come up here, and uh, you know, we never latched our door. Oopsie. A little cockpit lighting in here. Take a look back at uh, Chino. And we're just going to go downwind since uh, Ontario is so long. Runway wise, we got plenty of room. We'll just float it all the way down. around here. Yeah, looking out towards uh, LA. Over towards San Bernardino. Alright, let's pop in here. Let's see if we can't pick a runway. We'll take the long one. We'll take the big one here with the approach lighting. And I'm really ad hocking it here, so uh, I wouldn't normally, if I'm flying, trying to fly like, you know, real world, <laughs> wouldn't actually be doing this. I'd fry, fly, fry, fly proper. All right, flaps full. <laughs> Hopefully they don't fall off. Oh, they're still on the plane. We're gonna come in hot and downwind here. Anyway, I think the co-pilot behind me wants to go for a walk, so this will be the last uh, little touch and go here. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was uh, somewhat educational there. If uh, you're re-watching this, go ahead and uh, grab the uh, world editor while we are floating it. Float, 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 float. There we go. 27. How's that, Captain Canada? I call butter. <laughs> As we go veering off the runway here. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of fun doing that here this evening. Got nothing better to do. And uh, I think I'm going to go put grass all over my airports. Look at this. See, there's no grass here. That doesn't look like fun. We need more grass. I think I'm going to do all of Southern California airports. I'm going to cover them all in grass. All right. Well, Alberto, I think you're still sticking around. So uh, thanks for sticking around through the whole uh, ordeal here. And uh, everybody else that's watching this, take care. Till next time.